fucking star. A mouth-watering, memorable dish starts with mixing herbs and spices from different countries to create a fusion of fascinating flavors. We have nine new home cooks who bring their culinary passion to the camera nationwide. The contestants will compete in an intense cooking competition to win the title and award, ShopRite Cooking Star. Namaskar, Sasrikaal, Assalamu Alaikum. I am Akshay Kapoor and you are watching ShopRite Cooking Star Season 2 presented by Renaissance Media. We have nine contestants chasing the dream to become the next ShopRite cooking star. Three of those contestants will be thrown into the fire today with a brand new competition and new challenges and a chance in chasing their dreams. So let's go and meet our contestants. Our first contestant, Zaheer, AKA The Moon. How are you, Akshay? Pleasure meeting you, sir. Nice. Pleasure meeting you. Hi, my name is Moon. I'm from Philadelphia. Very passionate cricketer. I still play, still take part in active games all around Philadelphia. Love to cook. I'm a payroll executive at a woman minority owned company called Pace of Staffing. Followed by Shamira Ji, please. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. I'm Shamira Jivani, and I'm from New Jersey. Born and brought up in Mumbai. Food was the heart and soul of our family. Food was what bonds us together. We are making all these delicious dishes with my grandma's house. We're going and making all these delicious, um, delicious dishes. And that's where my passion for cooking comes from. Last but not least, Tariq, please. Hi, everyone. Namaste. My name is Mohammed Tariq Khan. I'm from Odisha. But I live in New York in the city of मुझे रनिंग करना, हाइकिंग करना, एडवेंचरस थिंग्स बहुत ज़्यादा पसंद हैं। तो मून भाई साहब, आपने ये बैट, आई मीन ये कुकिंग शो है, ये बैट क्या है? I'm a cricketer. Uh -huh. Always ready to bat. I'm going to bat. Hopefully, judges and fans would like my batting today. क्या मीट को बैट करने वाला हो क्या? हाँ 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 Shavirji, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I'm a Jersey girl. Jersey girl. But born and brought up in Mumbai. Mumbai, love it already. Yeah, so I'm here to show my talent. Hopefully, I'm going to win. Hopefully, all the best yes, to you. Thank you. Tariq Baisa, tell us about yourself. I'm from Odisha. I live in New York in the dreams of my dreams. And I like to cook for my brothers. How many brothers do you have? I have four brothers. Four brothers. Wow, so, he has a lot of practice cooking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I wish you all the best and let the show begin. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So the next segment, we'll see how fast our contestants can shop. But you don't go anywhere. We'll return to you after a short break. Here we are at ShopRite, where all your ingredients are at your fingertips. Guys, you got 10 minutes to get all the ingredients you need. You think you can do it? 10 minutes, that's it. Well, what do you want? You want more than that? I can do it in five. Oh, that's a spirit. What about you, Tariq? Let's do this, guys. He's already on the roll. We'll see you on the other side. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Right. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Janu. Yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'm, yeah, but I'm working. Yes, it's shop right, but. Uh huh. Yeah. Poland Spring, Ritz Crackers, Vivo. Got it. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> so, my wife. Right? Yeah. Uh, she knows I'm a shop right and just like every other household, she bullies me at times. Um, and I need to get this list. But here's the interesting part. I'm gonna do what the contestants are gonna do. I'm gonna try to get all the things that my wife tells me under 10 minutes. My bet is I might be the next shop right cooking star. See you around. the good stuff, where they keep the good stuff. So, when you have the boys over or your crew over for any given Sunday to watch NFL or NBA, you need some dips, you need some stuff to go with it. And what do we have? The best thing to go for. Voila, 
Ritz Kracha, let's eat and have some fun. <laughs> let's go. Thank God my wife didn't see that. Get some cheese. that I look for, especially when I go do the cooking, is my El Paso taco kit. This is why I need glasses. It was right there, but this is what we're going for. And my little extra tidbits in there is add some spice, man. The paprika and the jalapeno, mm. So good. Where they are, where they are. Not here, not here. Oh, it's on the other side, it's on the other side. Follow me. All right, find it, find it, find it. Huh, huh. A couple of minutes left, a couple of minutes left. So, when I do the cooking in the house, or my wife does the cooking, either I make the mess when I eat it, or I make the mess when I make it, so I definitely need some uh, towels here, and I think we're gonna go for some Viva multi-surface cloth. Can't go wrong with that, can we? Just forget the way you do it, yeah? <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Love it. I think I picked all the winner stuff. Just catching my breath. That was, that was a workout. You know, God's telling me I need to work out more. So, I'm going to go to the contestants. Tariq bhai sahab, kya ki aapne? Sab kuch mila ki nahi? Yeah, I find best lobster, let's make it. He's making a lobster, guys. Yeah. He's making a lobster. You guys got competition. Moon, what are you making? Can't even disclose, but I found the best ingredients. ShopRite is my neighborhood store. Found everything. It was a breeze. A man with a plan. Samira ji, you're left. What's your plan? 10 minutes. You didn't get everything. I know that you left off some ingredients out there. Ooh, Surprise. The competition. Yeah. The competition. <laughs> guys, let's go. Let's get this party started. See you guys on the other side. What's a cooking show without prestigious judges? Let's introduce our judges, Chef Navjot and Akashji. My name is Navjo Tarora. I'm a chef and restauranteur. Uh, I have two restaurants here in uh, Irvington, New York, Westchester County. Hi, my name is Akash Gulati. I'm a restaurant owner named by House of India. We have three locations in Exton, King of Persia, and Collegeville. As the contestants are gonna go back there and do their cooking thing, what are you guys looking for? What are you guys seeing? Um, what's the key criteria that you're marking down? We're looking at something which they make unique dishes mm -hmm. and very favorable. Mm, favorable? How about you, Navjot? So I've been on the other side of, I was on Beat Bobby Flay and I was a contestant. Ooh. And I know, I know how much pressure there must be under right now. Basically, I'm looking for, first thing is composure. Mm -hmm. uh, skill, which we, we are actually viewing them on uh, uh, while they're uh, cooking. Mm -hmm. Taste, mm -hmm. presentation, and innovation mm -hmm. or creativity. It's time for round one and give our contestants the chance to chase their dream. Contestants, are you ready? Born yes, ready. Yes, we're excited. Wonderful, wonderful. You, you have the chance to win 10 points in this round. You have 25 minutes to make your creative dish. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Set the timer, 25 minutes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Well, you're going down the spicy lane. It's mid chili and now onions and... Yes, sir. Look at 
even if your timing is very important for yes. cooking, isn't it? It's like yes. chemistry almost, or concoction, right? Absolutely, and this will be done, believe me. In 25 minutes? Yes. 1946 seconds. It will be done. I'm here to win, I say. <laughs> You're very calm and composed and yeah. silent and focused and zeroed in. No bakwas, right? No bakwas, no walk. <laughs> There's no excuse. People say you eat with your eyes first, but I think it's the aroma that comes to you before you even see the food. Mm -hmm. That's why smell, sight, and then taste. Mm. That is amazing. have a time constraint, 25 minutes. What does that mean? Because I know when I try to cook at home, right? Sometimes I'm successful. I mean, I make steaks and chicken curry and stuff like that. I don't have a time limit. It's two hours, whatever, and I spend a relaxing self-care activity. This is different. So what does that mean? I think there is a little bit of an advantage because they are creating what they want to or what they what they're, strong, uh, what they're strong at. So mm -hmm. they're making a dish which they know already. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's an advantage, and they know how to make it in those 25 minutes. Right, right, right. And they might have had some, you know, practice on it, and that's why it's easier. If it was an ingredient, like in the next rounds, but this one is showcasing what their strength is. Mm -hmm. And I think that comes through, and 25 minutes if they, they've practiced or cooked that uh, a few times, I'm sure that's enough time. Especially if you're not cooking a big, you know, like one of those lengthy stews which right, take right, four right. hours. So you have to choose wisely. Just like any other craft, uh -huh. cooking is all practice. Uh, so it's an art form, I call that it what It's an art form so which gets refined. We have nine minutes still, nine minutes, 16 seconds still left over here. So, I mean, we're getting close to the countdown. Yeah, Who do you think is gonna win? Looking from here, obviously you haven't gone there yet. But it looks tight. That's amazing. She's keeping her station clean while she cooks. That that counts. Tariq bhai sahab, saath mein bache. How far are you? Yeah, almost. 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 Last stages. Final. Last stages, just plating and sauce. Okay. All right. Exactly seven minutes left, Shamira Ji. It seems we are like done. I saw you cleaning. Were you cleaning? Yes. <laughs> That's the mom in me, I guess. Oh my God! My mommy ki yaad dila di aapne. Moon. They look good, but what does this mean? Are we done? Or are we yes, close to done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we're at technically six minutes thirty-six seconds. What stage are you in right now? I'm almost plating mm -hmm. and cleaning my plate a little bit. I'm making a mess plating. Uh huh. I don't have a creative bone in me. I can't even draw a straight line. <laughs> so this is the challenge. Cooking was easy. Yeah. Right? The decoration is the hard part. Yes, that's the hard part. I don't even try at home. <laughs> I think we're under four, we're under five minutes now. How far are you from uh, completing? Like almost there. Yeah. Almost there? Yeah. 
Now decorating is an important thing. How are you, uh, have you thought about presentation? Yeah. Sway them one way or the other. Yes, yeah, Samira and Moon are done, and I can see Tariq yeah, running getting, yeah, getting his dish together. Jessens, we're at two minutes. And hope the judges enjoy this. We are down to the wire. Countdown begins. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. My food is so delicious, and the presentation was excellent. I think. I tried my best, and uh, I'm pretty hopeful. And let's see what happens. I did my hundred percent. And I am Indian fusion to present so I have 110 percent guarantee that I will win. So judges, please welcome Moon, our first contestant. How are you, sir? I made chapli kebab today. So I used a, a ground chicken and a coriander powder, and I used a, a gram flour, green peppers, uh, habanero red peppers, uh, red onions, I chopped them together. Also fresh coriander also. And then I shallow fried them in a pan for like about seven to eight minutes. So I see the balance here between the spicy and the sweet, the different textures. Uh, there's crunchy onions with the, uh, all looks good. And what is the bread? Is, is that Shop like right, a... uh, sells this amazing uh, bread. It's a tandoori naan. And uh, since I was cooking indoor, and uh, that was my humble try again to make kebabs. When you say kebab, people think, oh, we, I need a big grill, tandoor, and whatnot. So I made everything inside, and I use household things. For naans, I cut them in a half, and I use a regular bread toaster. Well flavored, well seasoned. Um, now, the I think the bread uh, does not belong in this, but everything else is well balanced, and um, I would say it has all the right textures and flavors. I think so. The presentation was amazing. I really liked the presentation. Thank you very much. It's always said that you eat with your eyes first before you with your mouth. So, as I agree with him, the bread doesn't go with the kebab, and. Taste-wise, I'll say it's really good. Just a little bit, you should have used less of salt. The salt is little on a higher side, but it's perfect, fine. Thank you very much. Great. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Judges, please welcome Shamira Ji. Thank so this, you. This is my version, my family version, of uh, a Burmese dish called khausse. I had chicken, which is, uh, I took chicken thighs, bite-sized pieces I made it, and I marinated it with lemongrass, red chili, garlic, Thai basil, and blended all that together along with sesame oil, and I had marinated it for a little while. I mean, it's presented well, tastes fine. I think it's, it has to be in the perfect balance and harmony. You know, the four major tastes, yeah. citric, savory, uh, astringent, bitter, and sweet, all five actually, yeah. should be in harmony. It's a little bit off. Did you add any sugar in there? I have not. Okay. Normally I would add gur, a little yes, bit exactly. palm sugar. Palm sugar. I, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I think that is yeah. what would take this, elevate this dish to its perfect situation. But great effort, amazing presentation. Thank you. Thank you. So it's a really good. So Samirji, just in noodles, I'll just say, if you would have added a little bit more of uh, your, um, like, soy sauce in it, just like a little bit of touch of it, that would, be, would have brought out a little more flavor out of the noodles. So the rest, the sauce is good. Um, as Chef Navjot said, uh, you would have added a little bit of sugar, it would be perfect. And the chicken, it tasted really good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Please welcome, Tarik. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Good, Tarik. How are you? I'm great, sir. Fantastic. You only have one, one plate, plate for us? Yes, sir. Like, I missed by mistake. I broke the lobster. No so problem. extremely sorry for that. We and are going to be sharing a plate, sir. I took a lobster for four hours. 
आप साइड में प्रेजेंट करिए उसके साथ आप कोकोनट सॉस को पोर करिए जब आप सर्व कर रहे हो मेक श्योर sure, जब आप सर्व कर रहे हो तो लॉबस्टर और लॉबस्टर आपका गर्म होना चाहिए और सॉस आपका गर्म होना चाहिए No, I like I like the sauce. I think it's seasoned well. But and chef, but if you look, this it's seasoned well. But it did not come out the way it's supposed to come out with the sauce with the lobster. Okay, I give you that. The lobster is done perfectly fine. With perfectly lobster, boiled. you're always taking a chance. If it's not cooked perfectly, it can go either way. But yours is. Yes, it's cooked right. It's good, right? Yeah. And is that two kinds of quinoa? It's three, three color of quinoa. Okay. So red, brown, and white. Instead of putting all the sauce at the bottom, nap the lobster with a little bit of sauce so that you don't have to go. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, But great effort. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know it's a difficult task to, you know, assign any some food. kind of uh, rating, you know, marks to them, but we have to. But what would you say was the highlight for each one uh, in terms of presentation or taste or skill or creativity? I, I think so Moon did do a good presentation okay. with her with his salad and the little on the side with the bread, but the bread doesn't go with it, but it did he did a good job with that. And then when it comes to Samaraji, she, she did really good presentation with her noodles on the one side, chicken on the other side, and so it was completely different. I think going with a very familiar, uh, familiar comfort kind of food or something that it can go both ways. It's a safe choice, you know, that everybody can relate to. Like, uh, but the flip side is it has more acceptability. So yes. I think. Uh, trying to cook a lobster in this setting, I think that requires challenge. The, yes. you know. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, we, we, well, we had a great, uh, a great uh, run. And I think so they, these, these three contestants are strong and let's see what, what we have in the future. We go from there. So the suspense is killing me. And I think it's time now to invite our contestants. So please, Moon, Samiraji, and Tarek Masa. All right, I'm sure you guys are nervous. Very, very nervous. <laughs> uh, but I have to say, you guys put up a great product. It was, it was well thought out, well executed. All the, all the no right notes, presentation, taste, texture. But unfortunately, we have to pick a winner. And I let my. So I have to be the bad one, and I have to be the good one. So I'm. All three of you were great, and, and the winner according to all of us and the food was phenomenal for our is Samara J. Uh, I think uh, the best dish won. The judges uh, gave their opinion. Everybody brought their A game. So it was a tough competition. It's excellent judgment. So it's fair judgment. So it's great. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> So the journey ends for Moon and Tariq. Oh man, we created some memories. Memories of lobsters, which I didn't get to have. But next week, we have another thrilling episode. An episode which will also tantalize your taste buds. So, be ready. Don't be late. Shop right, cooking star.